The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. Dow's down by 264 points. The NASDAQ by 300. The S&P 66. The Russell 2000 is off 28. Uh, everybody off. Uh, well, the Dow's only down about three quarters of a percent. Over in Asia last night, it was a bloodbath. The uh, Nikkei was off 457 points. Oh, we got the wrong chart. Sorry about that. Give me a moment here. It didn't grab what I wanted it to grab. Here you go. Uh, so thank you in the uh, in the uh, production room. So uh, yeah, in, in Asia last night, I was saying kind of a bloodbath. They had the Shanghai off 95, two and a half points. Nikkei down 457, one and seven tenths percent. Same percentage wise for the Hang Seng, 412 points. In uh, Australia, the Aussie 200 down two and a half percent, 177 points. But over in uh, Europe right now, they're having a party. They're trading to the upside. 73 points for the DAX, 62 points for the FTSE. Gold is flat up a buck 30. Silver is flat up down seven pennies out there. You've got Light Sweet Crude. She's trading out at 83.79. That's up 50 cents. Natural gas back two pennies out there. And the 30-year Treasury is flat. She's trading at 155 and a quarter. So what does uh, what what what's going on over in Europe? Let's try to answer that question out here. Straight to the upside, what does that mean? The easiest way to figure out what that means is to go take a look at some charts. So here is a set of charts. Take a look at what went on internationally out here. You can see in the case of the Shanghai, not only was it a bad close, it closed below its TD9 count breakout level 3601. So price right here is all the way back and is going to test the August, or should test the August 20th swing point low. The Hang Seng, a different conclusion. Yes, price pulled back, pulled back percentage-wise pretty hard, but there's an A to B equals CD to the upside pattern, and the oscillator and change line have recently just changed colors, and price yesterday was a test and rejection of that line. That is a bullish signal. Hang Seng says it wants to add higher. Hmm. The DK tested its buy the D point. That was the uh, low of the uh, piercing uh, candle out here. Oh, I take that back. It failed. So it looks like the Nikkei wants to continue to head further lower. Bar number six formed of a TD9 count. Maybe it's going to make a TD9 count pattern over the course of the next several days out here. The DAX, here, the DAX, even though it's trading higher, it's an inside bar. An inside bar, what that means is that the existing trend that was in place should continue. The DAX, even though it's trading higher, says it's want lower, it wants lower price. The same thing with regard to the FTSE, just an inside bar. The FTSE likely targeting 71.98. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next with the morning market kickoff. I'll see you tomorrow, wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday.